Hey guys, welcome back to AdLib Talk, and this is my review for Black Crab. Tense, yet lacking in certain elements. This is an interesting one indeed. But before we get into that review, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoy, guys, and please do consider subscribing, as those are the two main ways you can help support my channel right here at AdLib Talk. Cheers, and now let's get right into that review. Vi håller på att förlora kriget. Men vi har nu presenterats för en sista utväg. So, Black Crab is a Swedish action thriller that just released on Netflix today. It is directed by Adam Berg and written by the same director, Adam Berg, as well as Pelle Radström and starring Numi Rapace, Aliet Opheim and Dar Salim. The basic setting here is quite simple there is a civil war going on in sweden and our main protagonist caroline ed has been caught in the middle of it all the country's army is apparently on the brink of defeat and so they call in ed and five other soldiers to travel across the frozen sea with two canisters to a research facility it is claimed that these canisters can eventually end the war this means a long and arduous journey in the freezing cold a journey ada rightfully calls a suicide mission but ada is motivated to go on this mission because colonel rod shows her a picture of her lost daughter vanya whom we have seen at the beginning of the movie taken away by the enemy Caroline Ada is now determined to get to her destination and find her daughter. The movie has both positives and negatives, but I must admit, first of all, that I did have quite a good time watching this movie. Uh, it is a tense one, and the tension just does not let go throughout the whole runtime. The editing and cinematography here is excellent. There are a number of spectacular shots showcasing Ada and her fellow soldiers skating across the frozen sea. The frozen backdrop is beautifully portrayed. I also enjoyed how we got to see the consequences of war, the real consequences of war, quite clearly. This movie does not shy away from showcasing dead bodies. One particular scene is quite shocking as we see hundreds of dead bodies in the frozen sea. What killed them? Nobody knows. It is just another day in war. The movie delights and is at its strongest during the very tense moments when you've got helicopters searching for our team, using flashlights in the darkness. It is all shot excellently and props here must go to both director Adam Berg as well as cinematographer Jonas Alaric. The action is also shot very, very well. There is a particular sniper scene which I was particularly impressed with, but we even got some pretty decent uh, scale battles here. There is nothing heroic. It is simply soldiers attempting to survive another day, and I thought that the straight-to-the-point, clear action really, really portrayed this very well. Another aspect I enjoyed of this movie were the skating scenes per se. Uh, like I said, they are shot excellently, but there is one particular scene in which our team end up having to skate on thin ice. Again, this is a textbook way of how to develop tension, and it was done really, really well. It is unfortunately with our characters that the movie starts to falter. I definitely cannot complain about the performances here, with the standout clearly being Numi Rapace. She is a great lead and delivers a ferocious performance, showcasing determination against all odds in portraying a mother who simply wants to find her daughter. Uh, in her way, are countless enemy soldiers, helicopters shooting at her, tin eyes, snipers, and much, much more. But Rapace is extremely believable as she fights her way through the two-hour runtime of this movie. I am definitely looking forward to seeing her as a lead in other action movies. But, unfortunately, her powerful performance is not supported by a well-written character. Yes, we know her motivation, 
but it just feels so thin and so threadbare. We needed more development for Ada, uh, and there definitely was a lot of potential for creating a more endearing and more empathetic character, rather than just giving us the usual trope of a mother looking for her child. The same thing can be said for our other characters in the team. Barely anyone gets any interesting development. We learn that one character has a girlfriend and that's pretty much it. For example, I thought that Jakob of the Bro as Lieutenant Nyland uh, gave a very good performance, but we literally knew nothing about his character and his motivations. It is sad to say that this means that we never care whenever a character dies, whenever we see a character shot. There is no emotional impact at all. Uh, and I think you are starting to see a pattern here. The big problem with this movie is its very weak writing and screenplay. Dialogue is uninteresting. Now, it might be the translations, but the dialogue was just so bland. Everyone says the obvious. There is no wittiness here, no interesting commentary about the war and futility of it all. It is far too by the books. And the issue with the writing continues onto the whole premise. Who are our team fighting against? All the enemy soldiers have masks or have their faces covered, uh, so we never get a real antagonist in this movie. Uh, it sometimes hints to an interesting idea that it is our team who are the real villains of this movie. But unfortunately, this concept gets little to no development. This movie could have done with writing similar to that which we got in a video game like Spec Ops The Line, which took this concept and developed it wonderfully. My final problem with this movie is its very weak conclusion. Both the action and tension, which had been so good up to the last 20 minutes, falter as well here. And the final 20 minutes just feels so inferior compared to the rest of the movie. Uh, I cannot get into more details, obviously because of spoilers, but I will simply say that I was disappointed in the way the movie ended. Black Crab is a pretty decent feature film debut for director Adam Berg, who shows great talent when it comes to building atmosphere, showcasing action sequences, and giving the movie an overall pretty good look. Even the visuals are spot on. There's a nice feeling of polish to it all, uh, and here I must also applaud the production design team, who did a very good job. Unfortunately, the movie is not entirely, but somewhat ruined due to its extremely weak writing and screenplay, which leads to a movie that, whilst pretty visually impressive, will have you wishing for so much more from its characters and its story. My rating for Black Crab is a 3 out of 5, and my recommendation if you are looking for a decent action thriller with some pretty impressive action sequences. We must declare. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like on this video and please do consider subscribing. Cheers, and I'll see you guys next time right here on AdLib Talk.